I had heard that you were back. I'm so glad you are. That's for Kristen. You shouldn't have done that. Or what? I'm supposed to be scared of you because you work for Penguin? My fiance's father is Carmine Falcone. I so much as whisper to him and you disappear. Tell the mayor, whatever I can do is I me, I'm happy to help. Very well. <gasps> oh, I knew you had it in you, James. All this time, you made everyone believe you were the hero. But deep down, you always knew the truth. You're a villain. Leslie Tompkins, please send an ambulance to 25 Blackstone Drive. Hurry! I'm so glad you're home. Mom thought you were gonna be late. Ha! Mom owes me a quarter. Mom! We made a bet that you were gonna be late. Uh -huh. Thank you. You feeling okay, honey? Just glad to be here. With you guys. I love you so much. Does that mean we can get a dog? You too. Does that mean we can get a dog? Dan Falcone, please. We'll pull your car around. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful evening. I love you. I love you too. Hey. Is everything okay? I was on my way to the rehearsal dinner and I heard myself telling the cab driver your address. Mario told me everything about today, how you risked your own life to make sure. I didn't do it for him. I know. He's a good man. Why does it feel like we keep saying goodbye? Maybe it's all we have left. Or we just haven't done it properly yet. James Gordon. He passed. What's wrong with you? He cheated the test, Lee. I don't know how, but he did. Tetch infected him that night in the hospital. You went to see Tetch, didn't you? Yes. Jim, don't you see Tetch is planting ideas in your head? No. Don't you remember he's done this before? No, this isn't like that. Okay, what is more likely, that Tetch is planting ideas in your head to screw with you, or that Mario has Alice's virus? Lee, you cannot marry him. Finally push you away. Oh, Jim. I say this as someone who cares about you. Get help. I love you. I love you. I've never stopped. After the wedding, Mario and I are leaving Gotham. I'll never see you again. Lee. Damn you. For telling me this. Now, you come in here with these crazy accusations, and when I don't believe you, you pull this? How dare you? <laughs> Thank you.
Mr. and Mrs. Calvin. Everything bad that's happened in my life has happened because of him. If Gordon dies, it's a weight we'll both have to carry. I'm used to such burdens. You're not. He'll die by my hand, not yours. But this is something you'll need to live with. Can you? Would he have killed you? Well, I can tell you this. I've never felt better in my life. Clearer, stronger, more focused. Even now, I can feel it coursing through my veins. Restoring my body. So, Mario could have lived a normal life with it. Would have given us time to find a cure. Jim didn't have to kill him. A cure? <laughs> Hilarious! Again! <laughs> If you insist! Hurry, hurry, no! no! 25 milligrams of sodium pentothal. Give him a few minutes. He'll tell you what you need to know. Damn. Well, that is quite a story. You know, I know I've been dead, but doesn't that seem kind of crazy to you? Hey, maybe you're dreaming. Try shooting yourself. Oh. Oh. Nah. Hey, tell me more about this cult. They think I'm pretty great. Huh? They're a bunch of raving lunatics and idiots. Lunatics and idiots? Ooh, my kind of little... <sighs> Twinkie. Easy. How's it going between you and Jimbo? Huh? You still together, or...? No. 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 That's a shame. I really liked you guys. What happened? He killed my husband on our wedding night. <laughs> Glad you find it funny. I do. <laughs> right. The old Galavan killed me, that juggier Judas. Well, I suppose I should start by killing him. The old Galavan's dead. No. Who beat me to it? Wh which time? Galvan came back to life, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that son of a bitch is always upstaging me. Well, guess I just missed one thing, then. Where is my face? Twinkle, twinkle, pretty doctor. How I wish I could unlock her. Here in Arkham, what a wonder. Too bad her husband's six feet under. Clever. How is life in the nut house? Why did you infect him? Oh, doctor, is that the question that's been ruining your sleep? You wanted to hurt Jim. Why not infect me? Why make Mario suffer? Do you remember our tea party at your lovely home? When you shot Valerie Vale. Yes! Good memory. Well, I saw the way that you looked at James Gordon. And it worked. But you know the funny thing? There's poor Mario, cold in the ground. And here you are, blaming Jim, even blaming me. But guess who's really to blame? I am.
Lee. Lee. Hello, Jim. I knew you'd come. I'd have to disagree with you on that one. But honestly, the whole argument is moot at this point. No, it isn't. Barnes was infected for weeks before the virus fully took hold. We can get you help. I'm no virologist, but I'd say we missed the boat on that one. <laughs> Come on, we can fight this. Come with me. Don't you want to know what the virus has brought out in me, Jim? What it's shown me? No. What I really want. There's a problem, though, Jim, isn't there? You know what the problem is, don't you? Yeah, you need help. No. The problem <laughs> is that you are always denying yourself who you really are. <laughs> but I can help you with that. You see, Jim, I have a secret. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy, everybody. Guns down, people. It's all right. Everybody just step back. He's in a coffin, six feet underground. Did you kill him? <laughs> Who said anything about killing him? Oh, bloody hell. I said he was in a coffin. He's not dead. Not yet. Oh, jeez. I forgot how jumpy everybody is around here. Jim, are you there? So here's the deal. I buried Jim Gordon alive in a location that you might find if you looked long enough, but certainly not before he runs out of air. Mimi, I'm the only one who knows where he is. But now here's the kicker. I left him a way out. You hear that, Jim? I swear to God, I'll let you walk right out of here. Tell us where you buried him. Why would I want to walk out of here, Harvey? I'm going to miss the look on all of your faces when he takes that virus. And seeing that he's got roughly an hour left of oxygen, I'm not going to have long to wait. Can I get a cup of coffee? Get the lady a cup of coffee. When you're ready, come and find me. It's only a matter of time. Well, this is a strange day. Never thought I'd see you in here. I had some time to kill while my ex sees the light. Figured I'd have a little fun. Where's Babs? What do you want with her? None of your business, Aaron boy. I'm sorry, what did you call me? <laughs> I'm sorry, you're not an Aaron boy. You're more of a shoe shine boy. They should give you a little stand in the front, cute little hat. That's more your speed. Right. right. She's not my boss. Uh huh. I may have a virus making me freakishly strong and mildly insane, but even I know that you were a sidekick to your brother and you're a sidekick to Barbara. So. Can you send her a message for me, would you? <laughs> Your boss? <laughs> Tell her next time I see her, I'm gonna rip her head right off her body. Bye now. <laughs> we both know that's not what I want. I want you. I want you and all your darkness. Give in. Give in to your darkness. Be free.
trying to stop us. You can't let him. I'll see you on the train. 